let us see um, yeah another uh, technique in uh, tableau so we are going to see how we can adjust the bar width in tableau the topic looks very small but um, there is no straightforward method in tableau to adjust the bar width so we are going to um, have a yeah, work around to do that okay so let's say this is our data okay so this is any data you can consider and then uh, let me build a chart out of this data okay. Okay, so let's consider this is my data. Okay, this is my data, and let me. Okay, I have sorted this data based on the number of uh, count here to lower it. Okay, now I want to. I just the width, okay, of this bar. So one is so here I do have an option uh, to adjust the width, but still, you know, if I want to adjust the width, uh, there is no straightforward option or the flexibility. In order to do that, I'm going to create a dummy field. Okay, so now what is the difference is in our previous chart, it had only one compartment. Okay. I didn't have an option of adjusting each and every bar. So as soon as I create this index field, right, so now I got multiple compartments, right? Okay, fine, not an issue, but here, my another issue is I want this to be in the descending order and I want everything to be in my previous state. Okay, let me duplicate this sheet in order to show what I had before. Okay, so this is how I want the graph. This structure should not change, but I want to adjust the width, right? But here it has changed a little bit. Okay, in order to adjust this, I'm going to touch the advanced calculation. Okay. 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 Let's try to adjust this calculation. Okay. This. Let's the bucket and type. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I have got it, and then okay. So here, what we are saying is, for for each bucket and type, okay, at the level of type, type is nothing but this um, uh, this rat lat, okay, restrict at the type level, and calculate the index. Okay, so there is a calculation. This may differ depend on the scenario depend on your graph you need to adjust this okay so now the point is here i have got the compartments right and then using the size you can adjust it so now i will be having more space between the bars and then as usual let us remove this header and then let me go to formatting these lines right uh, the column divider is going to be none. Type. 
right okay and then go to the dashboard that will drop this and then click height okay and then we try to So now we have um, ample amount of space between the graph. Okay, so there's a technique. Let me reiterate. I've created the index field, and here one of the thing is uh, this is not a straightforward graph. This is a stacked bar. So for the stacked bar, we have leverage these calculations. So now it is setting the index based on this, and then I got the compartment. And I have managed this space. Okay, so this is a technique for bar width size. I will um, connect with you all with a new technique in my next video. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.